Check that sporty position out. Check it out. <laughs> All right, I'm hammered down. Let's see what she'll do. Ah! I am going 15 miles an hour under the speed limit now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going everyone? My name is Case and in this episode of TFL Bike we are doing a moped sized road trip. We're heading just a few miles north to a town called Lyons. Normally that's about a 30 minute drive but on machines like these well we'll find out how long it takes. They're not necessarily the most highway worthy two-wheeled vehicles out there. For this journey I have chosen the Honda Super Cub 125 because it's old school like me. It has gears that you can click through and even though its top speed is lower about 55 or 60 miles per hour depending on the pitch of whatever hill you're riding on, I like it better so this is how I'm going to make the journey. Alex on the other hand has chosen his more new school sophisticated machine yeah i'm on the adv 150 and i'm right this is the better bike i mean case is calling this a short road trip that might be true in a car but 17 miles there and 17 miles back on a scooter that's a long road trip that's not a short road trip so i've got more power higher top speed bigger gas tank wind protection and it's adjustable check that out this is the better bike for this trip. I've made pretty much a career out of being heroically impractical is how I would label it. So I'm excited to do this trip on the Super Cub because it's way better looking and if you have a windshield on your scooter, that's soft. We'll switch bikes on the way back, so maybe we'll change our minds, maybe we won't. I don't think I will. I think this is the better machine for the task at hand, but anyway, let's get on the road. Before we head out, I need to make one thing very clear. Case and I are both well aware that we are asking both of these machines to perform well outside of their limits. But just in case you're considering one of these scooters as a highway cruiser for some reason, here's the stats. Case's Super Cub uses a single cylinder, 125cc, fuel injected, air cooled, four stroke, matched to a four speed, semi automatic transmission. You can pick the Super Cub up for $37.49. My bike, the ADV150, has an extra 24ccs. It's got a 149cc liquid cooled single cylinder, belt driven this time, and you can get mine for $42.99, an extra $550 over the Super Cub. All right, here we go, guys. We are starting our journey off to Lions. Lead the way, man. Listen to that. Case is already having bike troubles. Already having an old bike experience. Seeing as it just cut off, it's all right. If I wanted something new school, I would get some new school. Like that ugly ADV. All right, here we go. We are off. Woo! Oh man, only going like 40, 45 miles an hour there already. These things are just not built for speed. Nice and full, whoops, spilled a little bit. That's good. Uh, always need to put a little extra in. I usually do highway trips on my 1200 Sportster, which is a big heavy bike that you can put through hurricane-like winds without it being affected whatsoever. This is not that. Alex sounds excited though. <laughs> not quite. Guy at the pump is not stoked on us revving. He's loud, manly scooters. How long have I had my hazards on? That's a good question. Woo! Yeah! This is where these bikes are pretty similar. You're not really going to feel an advantage of one over the other. Uh, that one might be better actually in a city like this because you know you actually have gears to shift through. It's a little more fun than this where you just twist and go. Oh god. We're coming down to one lane. Uh oh. Oh, we've got plenty of space. More than enough power to make it happen. Let's go. I will say today is like our last warm fall day. It's supposed to get cold and miserable tomorrow, at least for a little bit. And I'm really jealous of Casey's helmet right now. 
It's a nice 70 degree day here in Boulder and Case is feeling all that wind in his hair and I can't exactly say the same. That's like double the wind right now. It's like 120 mile per hour winds. Woo! We haven't even started yet. The speed limit is 55. That's my top speed. Someone's gonna run us off the road. Hey everyone, this is Case from TFL Bike with our Ride Smarter Tip of the Month brought to you by Rider Justice. Did you know that most drivers and motorcycle riders are underinsured? This can leave them unprepared for catastrophic medical and liability expenses as a result of an accident. Ride smarter. Make sure to have a minimum of $250,000 in underinsured coverage. You also want enough liability insurance to care for a passenger that may be injured while with you. And last, if you feel the urge to get out on your bike on a nice warm day this winter, activate your insurance before you hit the road. You'd be surprised how many riders forget this step and end up paying the price. To learn more, go to riderjustice.com, the champions of biker rights. On the road, in the courtroom, and now across the country. Now we're riding up to Lyons because there's a very cool Land Rover dealership up there uh, that we want to check out. It's not really a dealership, uh, but a little Land Rover shop, I guess you could call it. And yeah, we're just gonna go check that out because we're having some FOMO missing out on all the Land Rover stuff since our Defender has been in the shop for so long. Oh boy, Case is getting so excited about something. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go check out this Land Rover since uh, it's the only Land Rover we have left in our lives. Okay guys, this is where it starts to get interesting. This is our last traffic light for a long time. All right, I'm hammered down. Let's see what she'll do. 60 mile an hour speed limit. I don't think that bike can go 60. Most people who drive this road drive it at at least 75. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Case is in a full tuck right now. And I think I can catch up to him a little bit. Check that sporty position out. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Case is way back there. Totally holding up traffic. <laughs> That's all right though. I've got my windscreen keeping the wind off of me. I've got no one behind me. I'm not holding anybody up. What do you think? Not stoked. I think the guy behind you felt bad for you. I think he <laughs> just didn't want to pass you because he felt real bad. Yeah, well, I feel bad for me too because this is just brutal, man. Yeah? This is like not really what this thing feels like it's built for. Are you, know? you full pin, fourth gear? Oh man, dude. If I'm going slightly downhill, I can manage just over 60. is amazing. I think I set a new Super Cub speed record. <laughs> If you're going slightly uphill, like what's ahead of us here, which you probably can't even tell is uphill. Oh my God, dude, it's, it's 49. So you lose 10 miles per hour if you have a slight uphill grade. And uh, the speed limit here is 60, so it's not great. I love how dedicated he is to the aerodynamic riding position. This is pretty devastating, guys. I haven't been up here since the fires got really bad in Colorado and wow I mean look at how it just came across the highway and kept going that's incredible I mean it's sad but the power of mother nature is something else the back end of his bike just wiggling ever so slightly maxed out at 60 miles an hour <laughs> I hope he knows he's allowed to slow down but I'll wait for him I don't want him to crash <laughs> that's crazy that wiggle in his tail You know, no one passed us the whole time. I don't know why. I don't either. I would have passed me. Me too. 
Did you see the death wobble I had going on oh, the entire yeah. time? Oh yeah. Your back end was all over the place. Oh my god. We're getting close. Getting close to downtown Lyons. Speed limit is insanely slow going through this town. If you ever visit here, pay attention because uh, they'll get you. We're in the Lions now at the slow part of this journey and I'm happy for it. On that ride, I didn't feel too held up. Like I had more speed to give if I needed to. I was being nice and sticking with Case, but you know, this bike can handle some speeds. Wow, we made it. Didn't die. Not yet. Still have to go back though. Here's this uh, Land Rover Defender we wanted to come take a look at. This Defender 90. Pretty cool. I feel like normally they have some more stuff here. Maybe I'm wrong. So we're here at Vintage Motors, which is a cool little classic car dealer here in Lyons. Sadly, the owners of Vintage Motors here, who are buddies of ours, aren't here, but they've got some cool stuff outside, like this uh, this Beetle that matches me perfectly. It's also a sweet little car. It looks to be in awesome shape. We also wanted to point out this cool Land Rover 90 that's here. Now, I'm really not much of a Land Rover expert. I was growing up always on Jeeps and old army trucks, but it's still really cool. Uh, looking inside here, you can see it's uh, manual. Looks like a five-speed. It's got a pretty cool dash layout. This one seems to be in generally nice shape. I mean, usually none of these old vehicles are perfect until you spend like six figures on them or something ridiculous, but this is a really cool ride. I actually kind of want to know how much it is. Ooh, 31,950. Uh, I wish I had more money because it is a cool truck. All right, so it's time for me to pass on the key to the ADV 150, there you yep. go. Good luck. Super cuff key, <laughs> Case thinks I'm screwed. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yep, yeah, this feels a little bit smaller and a little bit more toy-like. Oh wow, this is great. This feels so much smaller, so much lighter. And it feels like a city bike. I'm so used to riding that scooter, I forgot to downshift. See if we can race Case off the line here. First gear, do a little drag race. Look at that, I have a friend! And he's using the bike lane, he's not even using the regular lane! All right, back on the highway. I don't have a ton of confidence taking these turns with these skinny little tires. Third gear. 50 miles an hour, speed limit 60, bike still screaming, we're gonna shift, fourth gear, we're going like 53, probably 54 now, uh oh, that's a big, big hill coming up, our speed's dropping again, I am going 15 miles an hour under the speed limit now, This poor little Honda has been screaming for the past 30 minutes. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, I'll give you some rest soon, I promise. Am I gonna get to pass him? No way am I gonna get to pass him. Oh, come on! I think he's just screwing with me. I think he's playing a game. I don't know what Case did to get that wobble. I'm like trying to make it wobble and it won't do it. It just won't do it. Case, what were you doing? I'm totally getting beaten up by this wind, by the way. Especially in this open space, it kind of rolls off the mountains and across to the east, and it is really slowing me down. I don't feel like I'm gonna topple over, or like I'm gonna fall, but the bike's working harder, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god! I got him! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. We are back from our journey. 
Look at this guy, he has no idea his turn signal is still on. What a loser. What a loser. Let's talk to Case. Let's see what his thoughts are. Well, after that harrowing ride to Lyons and uh, arguably less harrowing ride back, uh, honestly, I think my opinion is still the same as it was at the beginning of this video. If I was actually gonna buy either of these two, I'd buy the Super Cub because it has gears that you can shift through. That's a ton of fun and I think it's a way better looking machine. This, the stress level on this ADV was a fourth of what it was on the highway with that Super Cub, but if I wanted a vehicle to go down the highway, it, it wouldn't be either of these. I think I'm kind of in the same boat. I think, you know, at the beginning of this video, I thought I was gonna like the ADV 150 more, and I think that's true. I think that's, out of the two, I think it's the right vehicle to take up to Lions. I don't think either of these are the right bikes to take up to Lions. Uh, but I like the ADV 150. It's practical, you got plenty of storage, it looks cool. I like the sporty look, as you can probably tell by my sport bike gear sitting on the Super Cub, I probably look a little bit funny. Uh, but I honestly really like the Super Cub too, more than I thought I would, and it's more stable than Case made it seem. I don't know what he was doing on the way up there that made the back end wiggle so much, but I didn't experience that. I'd still go with the ADV 150, and I still think if you're gonna be doing a lot of highway miles and wanting to go fast, you need something with more power than both of these. I actually have two theories as to why I had so much wobbling going on in the Super Cub. What I'd like to tell myself is that the hills going into Lyons are steeper. I got the bike up to about 65, which I didn't actually think was possible, but did it. Uh, but more likely, I think it's the uh, aerodynamic riding positions that I was taking to try and pick up an extra mile per hour. I don't know what we proved today, but we definitely had a lot of fun doing it. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what other kind of mashup videos like these, one bike against the other, even if they don't compete at all, which these two don't. Let us know what you want to see down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.